Hey Celia. I just wanted to put a video together because I was really, um, I don't know, your confessions videos were just kind of right on time for me. Gave me some things to think about that I've been thinking about and um, helped me clarify some things. But um, I especially like your analogies with the, with the hands. I thought that was so cute with, uh, I'll tell you something and I'll tell you and that feels good and I'll tell you something else about me and you tell me something and ooh I like that and then they get together at the top and say I love you I know that's the um, goal for me anyway um, but I just kind of wanted to share my two cents um, I think a lot of times what people do in the beginning of a relationship it's kind of like a like a job interview you know, basically, when you meet a person, wherever they're at in life, they're putting on their best face. You know, they are happy every time you talk to them. Everything's positive. Um, <clears throat> every um, conversation is upbeat. And um, that's not real life. I mean, you know, everybody has issues that come into play now and again. Everybody has a bad day every once in a while. Um, everybody has, uh, you know, gets a parking ticket or, you know, something that goes wrong during the day. <clears throat> um, and after a while, you know, after the, the newness of the relationship wears off, um, people start to let those things out. So they're their best face kind of turns into, um, you know, how they are maybe after a year on the job. Um, you know, where they're coming in 10, 15 minutes late, once or twice a week, or, um, you know, not quite doing what they're supposed to do. I got a telephone call, sorry. So anyway, um, you get my point. Um, so over a period of time, you know, the game face kind of fades off to the left and people start to reveal their true selves. Um, I think if in the beginning you've made the right choice, um, you can have an analogy like this where, you know, you share yourself and that person says, ooh, I like that or I'm touched by that or I'm pleased to know that about you. Or like you said, you know, respect the growth. Um, if the beginning of the relationship really wasn't based on that, and it was based on an ideology or a concept, then when you start to reveal yourself or the person starts to experience you, um they're not sure about you anymore. They're not as comfortable about you anymore. Um, you know, it's not really anything you can feel bad about. You know, I guess I, I've always looked at it as a weeding out process. I mean, if you don't like me with all my, you know, faults, then you don't like me. I mean, because I'm certainly not uh, an actor with my game face on 24-7. So, um, I don't know, I, I think that, um, you know, I'm starting to see where people have ideas or concepts that they have developed in their mind in terms of, you know, what's a good maid or what's a good relationship or what will it take, um, you know, for my life or my world to be whole or to be good and you know that might mean different things to different people but you know maybe a guy wants you know a woman who's somewhere between 25 and 28 and he wants her to be 130 pounds and he doesn't want her to have any kids and he wants her to have her MBA and um, you know those are these criteria that he puts on it and so then when he meets someone that he's very attracted to and very taken by um, she doesn't have the MBA and she doesn't have, um, you know, she's a little bit heavier than what he really wanted. And those things start to make him question or wonder, is this what I should be doing? 
Um, and I think that what it is is that a lot of people base relationships on a fallacy. They base it on a fallacy that there's a perfect person or that there's a perfect dynamic. Um, I don't believe that relationships are, that they just happen. I think relationships have to be negotiated. And I think people have to be accepting. People have to understand that other people are just like them and that people make mistakes or people um, are human. You know, everybody's not a video chick. Everybody's not a PhD. Um, everybody isn't where society says they should or shouldn't be. Um, but anyway, I think that people base meeting people and being in relationships with people on somewhat of a fallacy. They have all of these preconceived notions and then if things don't fit within these preconceived notions, they don't want to deal with it. And in actuality, when you, when you, if, if you accept what you've been given, which is an opportunity to receive love and give love to another human being, that's such an honor. Um, if you accept that with open arms and you don't fight that, you may find that you have received one of the biggest gifts that you could ever be bestowed in life. You know, this woman who's 30 pounds heavier than you thought and um, doesn't have the degrees that you thought might end up being the best thing that ever happened to you. But, you know, I, I think people are so busy trying to fit people into boxes that they can't experience, they can't just go through the journey. They have to fight it every step of the way. And it makes things very, very difficult. And it's almost a form of rejection or a form of neglect almost, especially when it happens within the context of a relationship where, uh, you know, someone says they want to be with you and they love you, but then when your life starts unfolding and you present yourself to them, they have a problem with every part of your life. Um, it's kind of like rejection, I guess, for lack of a better term, but um, anyway, I've seen that as a, a, I don't know if it's a recent development, but it does seem like something that um, is kind of new that I never really noticed before, um, and I don't know what to attribute it to, but I think that people have gotten really, really shallow, and their view of other people is so much about what they can gain from that person or how that person is going to make them look or how that person fits into their idea of who they are that they never embrace the person fully. They never truly love. You know, they love the person but they don't love the things that make that person unique. They fight that person on the things that make them outside of their preconceived box. And it's unfortunate. But anyway, I just wanted to um, share my two cents. I wanted to thank you for that beautiful analogy in your first video. I thought it was fantastic because it's exactly what uh, I love about relationships. Um, that's exactly what um, I like to experience in mine. And um, I just wanted to say thanks. All right. Ciao.